to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good... The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First play, and Young is going to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hand. Check. Chark the motion man right. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. In motion left, that's Thielen. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here now a third down and eight. Now here's Young. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run with Chubb. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Now Watson on third and goal. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 of the 19. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Those are bad teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And the Panthers are going to have it here at their own 32 yard line. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know, we're still in the first half. A bold call, nonetheless. Hey. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. There he goes, left side. Oh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at that 41 yard line. to the 16-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
On first and ten, Watson, deep ball for Goodwin. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play that time for Cleveland. And even 50 yards. Watson on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. And he is going to be stuck cold behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And again, it's Chubb. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, here's Watson. And that one to the right side and incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. But Kevin Stefanski going to take a chance going forward on fourth. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns' decision to go for it. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They run with Sanders off the option. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. The play fake, now Young. Dancing to his left. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Ball on the 47 yard line, here's second and nine. Young to throw it. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Young on third down. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Back to throw, Watson. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And a great return as he gets this down close to the 30-yard line. First and ten. Hey, hey, Following the interception, Young. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game of 16. First and ten. Young will set to throw. Flushed out right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Browns are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. The Browns drive about to get started. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Second corner, two minutes to go. A shotgun snap for Watson. Steps away to his left. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. First down now, but that clock rolling. Watson changing the play. Just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Again on first down, Chubb. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. The Browns trying to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. They go with Chubb on second down. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. That he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They run it again with Chubb. What a great effort to do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. 
the special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Watson now on second down. Flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low score. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku. 37 yards, and the Browns add six to their lead. Up to the one and go for two. Yeah, that's exactly right. At their own 24-yard line. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone, they throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either, so we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up copping the ball up, you end up throwing a pick, everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was just incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Right, right. They're going to look to throw. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he gets this one just shy of the 30, down at the 39. And now it looks like they're going to be in the On first and 10, Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. At the 43. Out of the gun. It's Young. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To the air once more. Young. Oh, and that is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Time to his left, and he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. It'll go as a sack and a loss of a yard, and it leads to a second and goal. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. A quick throw by Young, caught out wide. Touchdown, Panthers. Seven-yard line. Down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Right, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Throwing on third down, Watson. 
And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Amari Barno. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And a fake extra. The Browns drive about to get started. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? And the Browns first down. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Chubb will get the call, running left. Boom! Still fighting through tackles. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Again, running right is Chubb. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now Watson going to change the look here. To throw on second is Watson. Forced out to his left. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Meanwhile, Young's throw taken in by Chark. Taken down the throw, working across midfield. down throw for Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. That throw by Young incomplete trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Red, cycle. Slide through. Ready? Young.
He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 18. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Yellow, blue, black, ultra. Hurry, hurry. From the red zone now, Young. will get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. Second down, eight yards to go. Brings up second and at the 17-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Here now, third down. Check right. They'll try and run for the line. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Oh, look at this play call. But he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow him to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Now first and goal. 43 rail. They'll run here with Hubbard. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. And as the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Sanders is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Third down and goal coming up here. Try to run with Sanders. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. Ready? Oh, here's a running play now for Thielen. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner. Now Watson, he's going to move him around. Now Watson, flushed out right. And Ty finally runs out, he can't get rid of the Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone...